November 2009, I found out I was pregnant and the other biological half uh, did not want to be involved. So I decided to move home uh, and move in with mom and dad so that I had the support and the help that I knew I was gonna need with a newborn. On my due date, I went into labor and things progressed fine and my doctor uh, arrived. He looked at the monitors and looked at me and said, Lindsay, her heart rate's a little low. I don't know how long it's been that low. We're gonna have her out in 30 seconds. Very healthy, normal, like a doctor actually called it a boring pregnancy. So at like 33 weeks, he was fine, breech. My doctor told me that he'd be like six pounds-ish and he'd slip right out. And as like a first time mom, you really wanna hear they're gonna slip right out. You're just like, okay, I think I can do this now. At 37 weeks, we did another ultrasound to see if he had switched positions. The doctor comes in afterwards and just like, you know, I see a couple things wrong. He's a little smaller than expected and that uh, you're having a baby today. So at 2.54, she made her appearance. Um, very quickly, the neonatal nurses and doctors took her. Um, I had to stay in bed, obviously, and dad went with them. It got real serious very quickly and the end result was really shocking. The doctor handed her to me and said, I'm sorry she didn't make it. The only thing you can do is take her to her mother and tell her that she didn't make it and that here she is. When he was born, there were some, there were some concerns, but it was certainly dire. I mean, they said they were going to transport him to the NICU, but it always felt like it was under control. I couldn't sleep that night, and I, and I took the dogs. I took the dogs for a walk at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I got that call. His vitals kept going down and down, and they weren't getting better, so, um, you know, we had him baptized in the hospital, and we enjoyed the last two hours with him. He died in my arms. But the nice part about that was it didn't have any of the tubes for just a moment in time. Ten years later, we have birthday parties for Sydney every year. For 130 months, we've worn pink on the 7th. My heart just felt love that she still carries on traditions and still carries Sydney in her heart. You just learn what your new normal is and you find a way to honor the loved one that you lost. Sydney passed away in July and I want to say it was late July. Mom and I on Google, on the computer, looking for ways to get involved. And I think Mom actually reached out to the March of Dimes and we were all in. <laughs> There's no reason that I should be sitting on this side of the camera right now. There's nothing that showed up in an autopsy. There's nothing that showed up in any blood work for me or for Sydney, right? So what could have been done on the research side or on the education side to prevent this? And that is why people need to get involved and stay involved because I'm not the only one. They do a lot. It's not just one thing that the March of Dimes is focused on the research, all the policy making, like that's a huge part of it as well. I'm glad that I got that sonogram when I did get that sonogram, right? The more uh, health can be provided for women, the better off they are. And then the, just the support, it's been really great to be able to meet other people this way. The first time that Ro and I met, we had a great conversation about just loss and, and life after loss and, and what you do next. It was a great connection and We've had the opportunity since then to meet each other's husbands. We, of course, have had the opportunity to go to each other's baby showers now, um, which is so, so nice to be able to go and celebrate a healthy baby with another lost mom. I was very certain that Nina was going to be born healthy. I just knew it. I knew that it was back, I think Theo was kind of helping us, but also helping her. She is so happy. We are so lucky. That positive happiness that she exudes, um, I mean, it's just so funny because no matter what's going on in our day, it, she just makes you smile. Just finding out that we were pregnant and then it's a little mini me, it's just a blessing. Maddox is amazing. 
I can't wait to wake up in the morning just to see him. I'm so thankful that I get to go through it with someone like RJ this time. He's so fun to watch and there's nothing like it. We didn't realize how the situation with infant health and, and mother health, and, and especially in the United States, um, it, it's, it's not as rosy as you would think. March and Dimes is an organization that would go through the scientific research, the advocacy, um, so our situation doesn't happen to somebody else. The technology that is continuing to advance is phenomenal. There's zero reason that these companies shouldn't be focusing on healthy babies. And the reason that they can is because they don't have the funds to do it. March of Dimes is more than just a philanthropy. It's support. It's, it's the love that stands behind you. I mean, without them, I don't know what else would do.